Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, what's up? I'm Courtney. So today we're doing something super exciting. Um, I'm really excited about it. You don't always have to have expensive makeup to look good, girl. I got you. We're gonna go to Target, see what we can get, and then we're gonna get ready together with the Target makeup that we get. So, I'm gonna bring you guys along to Target with me. Um, but before we get started with today's video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and join the Whip Fam. I'd love to have you here and give this video a big ass thumbs up. Okay, let's go. Target! Alright guys, I'm in Target. I'm gonna start with picking out a foundation. Okay, picking out foundation is the hardest freaking thing ever, but I'm gonna go with this Fit Me one. It is $5.39. This is the dewy and smooth finish as opposed to the Fit Me matte and poreless because I like to be dewy. So, we're gonna give this a go. Hopefully it's the right color. Who knows? All right, so then I got this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer, and that was $8.49. Okay, I'm going to get this Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. It is $5.99. Found the bronzer. I'm going with e.l.f. It is $6. Okay, I'm on the hunt for a cheap blush. Okay, guys, so this is the final one I'm getting. It's Coral Cove for $6.99. Okay, so I found this Pelf Brow Pencil along with the e.l.f. Brow Gel, and they're both $3 each, so $6. Okay, so I'm trying to find like the cheapest eyeshadow palette, and it's coming down to Milani for $8.99. They have a lot of colors you can choose from. I think I'm gonna get mine in Partner in Crime. Okay, so I lied. I found this Maybelline palette for $4.99, but I'm gonna stick with the Milani one because you get more colors for $7. So, just so you guys know there, there are cheaper eyeshadow palettes. Should I get some lashes just for the fun of it? Okay, these look pretty. I'm gonna give these a go. $10.79. $3.99 lip pencil. Okay, guys. So, I'm actually back from Target. Well, actually, that's a lie. It is the next day. So, good morning. We're going to do our makeup now with everything we just got from Target. Um, but first, let's go ahead and just review everything we got because... To be honest with you, I'm not even too sure. So, first things first, the total came out to $78.31. I you know what you guys are thinking. Like, whoa, 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 Courtney. Your title says $50. Girl, I know. Trust me, I know. The reason that is, is because I went ahead and got some spendy lashes, which you do not need. You can literally get cheaper ones. Um, me, personally, I really just wanted to like try these ones out. Um, also, it comes with glue, which is very handy, so you don't have to buy separate glue. And then also, I did end up getting a lip liner and then a lip crayon, which also you do not need to do. So in reality, that would knock off like 20 bucks right there. That's where I'm getting $50. I also tried to switch up brands and everything just so I could have like a variety of different things that I was trying. But if you go to Target and specifically just buy all the e.l.f. products, um, you guys, e.l.f. is a great makeup line and they are super, super cheap and affordable. e.l.f. is the way to go if you want to do some cheap makeup. Another thing I also got because I'm a weirdo. I don't know if you guys are like this too, but I like to put powder all over my face after I put foundation on, so that is why I got this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Pressed Powder. But then I also get a loose powder because obviously I like to put loose powder under my eyes um, in the areas that I like to highlight more. So that is also optional. Honestly, it's totally up to you and what you can afford and whatnot. I know it's super discouraging to get on YouTube and watch a makeup tutorial of all these beauty gurus who are using expensive expensive products and you're like okay so that's what I need in order to look that way which is completely false you don't need all the high-end stuff you can totally do this with just target stuff so that is why I'm here today to show you guys that we can look bomb as hell on a budget sister I got you so let's get ready together 
spill some tea. I'm gonna try out all these products for you guys. So I already moisturized my face. You guys, I moisturized with an SPF moisturizer that I got. I've talked about it in my previous videos, but if you do not have a moisturizer with SPF, I highly, highly, highly recommend you get one. You can ask my best friend. I am a freak when it comes to SPF. So don't forget about your sunscreen. The sun is damaging your skin, girl, without you even knowing it. We're gonna start out with foundation, of course. Ooh. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. Um, the one thing that I do not like about this is just that there's no pump for you to use. You have to be super careful about the amount that you put on the back of your hand. Or I guess if you're smart, you could use your finger and like, oh, duh, that could work too. I usually put it on the back of my hand and then I go in with a brush. I brought my mom with me and I was walking around the store the whole entire time like, this is so hard. This is so hard. At drugstores, you can't match your color. You can't do a color match at drugstore, but honestly, you can't even do that anywhere right now because they have everything blocked off for COVID. But I think it did a pretty damn good job. If you are a liquid foundation person, if you do put it on with a brush, you get more coverage. Whereas if you were just to directly go in with your beauty blender, I feel like recently my beauty blender has been picking up my product a lot more than the brush has. I usually go into the brush first and then um, afterwards I will go over it with the beauty blender. I don't know why I'm not using this mirror. That's just silly of me. Not me finally clipping back my hair after the fact that I already put on foundation. Yes. Honestly, I'm shooketh. Please look at this. Like, First of all, can we just pat myself on the back for this color match? Because holy moly, this matches me pretty damn well. I don't care what you say. Also, I just looked on the bottle, you guys, and it says SPF 18. <laughs> Seriously, go pick this up right now. Like, what was this, five bucks or something? Let me tell you. 539. Do not sleep on this. I am in the shade 128 for any of you that think you might be similar to me. There's your reference. Go get it right now, girl. Moving on to concealer. This is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer. I've never tried this before. Let me tell you guys something. So I am super picky when it comes to concealers. I usually use the LA Girl Pro Concealer, and I love the consistency of this one. But the e.l.f. one, to me, is really similar to the Tarte Tape Shape. But for me personally, I don't like super thick concealers because they tend to stick to these little fine lines that I have underneath my eyes. So I tried to get like a super lightweight concealer. Also, I didn't know what color I needed, so let's see. Okay, she's a little bit orange. I like the consistency so far, so that's good. Let's go ahead and blend her out. Wow, um, I'm honestly not mad about that, you guys. Like, looks pretty good. I love the consistency. I love that it's lightweight. I'm putting it off to the side because I like it. The only thing I wish is if I got it in a different color. I'm gonna put some here on my chin as well and on my nose and my forehead. Now we're gonna go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Pressed Powder. I'm just gonna go in with a brush and basically set my whole entire face before I end up baking it with the loose powder. Whoa, whoa, let me just break a nail real quick. <laughs> I have actually tried this powder before, you guys. If you're looking for a good powder just to set all of your makeup in place, I highly recommend this one. I always use like a drugstore pressed powder. I find if I don't do this step, I just end up getting super oily, like really fast throughout the day. So if I do this step, then it just kind of helps. Okay, boom, and here is what the face is looking like so far. Next things next, we're gonna go in with the Fit Me Loose Powder. I'm gonna go in with a big fluffy brush and just make sure we got all of that off. So you really can't go wrong with loose powder. I really don't know how you could mess up loose powder. Um, I am not one to let it bake on my face anymore. I just really haven't done that. I just kind of let it sit under my eyes while I put it other places and then I wipe it all the way. So. Very good, 10 out of 10. Next step is bronzer. I'm super excited to try this bronzer, you guys. I don't know why it was super hard to find a bronzer that just came in like one color, if that makes sense. Like all of them were just like a pack of like three colors. I just wanted just one color. <laughs> all right, so I think bronzer is my favorite part of, that's a lie. Well, well, I really like blush too. And 
eyes. So you know what? I just like doing makeup. <laughs> But we're going with the bronzer now. This is the e.l.f. bronzer, and it looks super pretty, you guys. The only thing is, I, this was the only color I could find. Okay, okay, okay. Gotta get rid of the double chin. It's hereditary, I found that out. It's hereditary, no matter how much weight I lose, it's always gonna be there. Found that out, so thank you, mom and dad. <laughs> Actually, I should really put on deodorant. <sighs> oh, my dog's in her bed and she's so cute. Can you guys see her? <laughs> you guys see her? She's so cute. Oh my god. I wish I could smell that. Okay, I actually think this bronzer color is like perfect. Like it's not too harsh. It looks nice and subtle. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do it on my nose because I love me a good nose contour. So here it is. The bronzer is on, you guys. I think it's actually a really pretty bronzer. Holy moly. This video is making me realize that I just should stop buying high-end makeup. What have I been doing? All right, now I'm going in with the Milani blush. You guys, look how cute this is. It's a rose. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. In cosmetology school, this was the brand that we only used for makeup was Milani. Girl, I cannot get this open. Is there like a trick? Is there a secret to this? Oof. I just stabbed that with my nail. <sighs> Whoops. Okay. Okay. She's cute. Here it is with the blush on. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. This this is fun so far. This is a really good time. Okay, so before I move on to um, eyeshadow, I'm just gonna go ahead and open this brow gel here. Brow gel here. I like to put brow gel on before I do my mess. Can I talk today? That would be good. Before I do my eyeshadow, I'm going to put on this brow gel because I like to let it sit on my brows before I fill in my brows, so. I don't know what clear lash mascara does for you, but there's a lash side and a brow side. Okay, so before and after, this brow has the product on it and this brow does not. Okay, oh my gosh, we're moving on to the fun part. This palette, you guys, is so cute. They had a lot of different colors you could choose from. I thought this one was really good for like an everyday look. Um, I don't know what I want to do with it today. Oh my gosh, I have powder in my hair and you didn't even say anything. It's quite rude. So I'm just gonna start out with the lighter color. Okay, I don't even know if you guys can see that color. I can see that there's a color there and it's actually a really pretty natural color. It was just this first one here. I'm gonna go in with this color right here. Put that in my crease. All right guys, so here's that color in the crease. Nothing too crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the darker color here. And I might be bold and mix the two, I don't know. I'm gonna take it and make kind of like a wing type thing, if you will. Kind of go up here. Now, trust me, I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, Courtney, that looks completely insane. Like, what are you doing? Just wait, because when we put the lashes on, it's all gonna come together. The only thing I wish that this palette had was some sort of shimmer color that I could put on my lid. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the lightest color that's in this palette, and I'm just gonna pop that on my lid just to give it like a little highlight moment. See how that just kind of like made my eye pop a little bit? then back in once more with that crease color so see how that just kind of like made my eyes pop and it just pulled everything together it's what we want now is the really fun part we're gonna pop on some lashes before we do that I'm just gonna go ahead and curl them real quick and give them just one coat of mascara 
Like I said, this came with lash glue in it. And let me tell you, this lash glue, glue, I cannot speak today, is bomb dating. Confirmed couple, Addison Ray and Bryce Hall. Oh my God, no shit. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on here. Wow. I have not put lashes on in a hot minute, you guys. Wow. Isn't that crazy how much a lash can open up your eye? A lash? No lash. Lash? No lash. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye real quick and I will be right back. And I'm back. Lashes are on and we're almost done with this look, you guys. Usually what I do to the top is what I do to the bottom. So I'm just gonna go ahead and smudge. I don't think I'm gonna go with the darker color, but the first two colors that I did, I'm gonna go ahead and smudge those underneath. I'm not going to do any mascara on the bottom just because I feel like it's bold enough as it is with no mascara on the bottom. But I think adding some eyeshadow to the lower lash line it really helps make your eyes pop a little bit better if you're not going to do mascara on the bottom. So now I have a trick for you. This is what I always do when I wear false lashes and you can just do it with this palette right here. I'm taking those two dark colors with an angled brush, just an angled brush like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and go on the inner waterline and mesh those two together because it really helps blend the natural lashes to the fake lash. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but this is with the shadow on the lash line and this is without. We're moving on to our brows, you guys. Oh my goodness, we're almost done with this look. What do you guys think so far? Are you gonna go out and get some of these products? Um, let me know in the comments down below. I'm super curious to see, or if you've tried any of these products before, what your thoughts are on them. The only words I can come up with are shook. I'm shook. <laughs> so we have this lovely brow pencil from e.l.f. that we're gonna give a go. All right, so I'm just going back over with the brow gel because I'm a freak about having my brows stay up. So there's the brows all finished. So overall, I like this product. The only thing I will say is that crayon part, um, you can see now that it is more rounded, obviously, because I used it, but it is really easy to get carried away and draw your brows on like they were drawn in with a crayon. So just be mindful of that. You don't want to be walking around with crayon brows. It's not a cute look. <laughs> If you draw them in and then just keep going over them with a spoolie, then it kind of helps brush them all out and makes them look a little bit more natural. And then as well as going in with the brow gel on top helps a lot. I highly recommend if you do not use a brow gel right now, girl, what are you doing? Go get yourself a brow gel. Are we almost done? Moving on to lips, we're gonna give these a go. Like I said, this is completely optional. You can just go ahead and get a lippy or even a lip gloss because gloss is super in right now. So Courtney, you have a booger. Thanks guys, so kind of you to let me know. <laughs> this is the NYX Matte Lip Liner in the shade London. Let's see. Super pretty nude, but kind of like mauve color. Honestly, my go-to lip color nowadays. That was satisfying. So now we have this NYX lingerie push-up lipstick. Oh yeah, they're literally like the same color. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, but I popped off on matching those colors. Except the concealer, I could have gone a little bit lighter. My foundation was on point. Um, that's like hydrating. Wow, I really like this, you guys. 10 out of 10 recommend you go try that. And they had quite a few colors in these. <sighs> I will say, I feel like I failed you guys here. Um, I forgot to pick up a highlighter. I know, shame on me. I don't know what I was thinking. I literally thought I was doing so good. I thought I picked up everything, but no, I forgot a highlighter. You already know, e.l.f. probably has a good highlighter that you can use, Maybelline. I'm sure they're like three to six dollars, somewhere around there, so I'm sure they work great. Don't sleep on the highlighter. I wish I got a highlighter. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm so sorry. I failed you guys, but 
today I'm gonna have to use my own highlighter because I cannot not wear highlighter. My go-to highlighter, if you must know, is the Becca highlighter. I've been using it for years. I'm pretty sure this is in the shade Champagne Pop. Nope, it's opal. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is also like $40. So it's either like you can buy a highlighter or you can pretty much buy all of this. I mean, you choose here. A cute nose highlight? I mean, come on. Come on. You make an exclamation point with your nose. A little line here, a little dot there. Cute. Always do the inner corners of your eyes to make yourself look more awake. Honestly, like, when did highlighter become a thing? Because I feel like in middle school, it was not a thing. I don't think it even became a thing until, like, I was in high school. Because now I don't know what I would do without highlighter. I would look dull. I always go over it with my finger just to make sure it's pushed in and not just, like, sitting on top of my skin. All we do is drive around aimlessly Trying to forget who we want to be Trying to just breathe and be carefree Baby, you and me Wow. I'm here with my final thoughts on this makeup look. Um, I think I popped off. Do I even get to say I popped off or did Target pop off? Because I think Target popped off. Let's just go ahead and break this down here. Foundation, bomb as hell. 10 out of 10 recommend. Like, I think that is my new go-to foundation. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. $5 for a foundation and this is what it did? Like, you cannot go wrong with that. I am no beauty guru by any means, so I don't know how to do these fancy eyeshadow looks, whatever, but you know what? I don't think this looks bad at all. I could be wrong, but I don't think this looks bad. This Milani $7 eyeshadow palette, the bronzer, this cute rose blush, obsessed with. You guys already know I'm obsessed with blush. I'm probably going to turn this camera off and put even more blush on. I don't know. Honestly, I have no complaints, except that I bought the wrong color concealer. But honestly, like, it doesn't even look that bad, right? Buy your dupes, go the cheap route. I don't make millions of dollars every day, so I'm gonna start buying my makeup Target. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you liked the way the makeup turned out. Let me know down in the comments down below if you're gonna go and try any of these products or if you have any of these products. I'm so glad I did this video. Um, I'm gonna start doing little quotes at the end of all of my videos to leave you guys on a happy note, feeling good about yourselves. So today's quote is, beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. I love that one. Don't forget girl, be yourself. Go to Target, spoil yourself, buy yourself some cheap ass makeup, go look bomb as hell, um, and also subscribe and stick around to this channel because if you like this video, then you're probably going to like my other videos as well and I would love to have you here. With that being said, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!